Hello everybody, welcome to RimWorld. Uh, I don't know how I lost the first intro, but I did. It was just like a couple minutes of me generating the world. Uh, so I'm not going to redo any of that. The seed is uh, drink your water, just so you know. And uh, yeah, hope you all enjoy. Alright, so I finally got all that done. Uh, here we are. Landing in our drop pods. I had to change our location a bit. Um, well, it shouldn't take that long. Yeah, we now live in the Blue Jay Cliff. I didn't have the right mods installed, so I had to like regenerate the planet. And there's like different factions everywhere, so. So first thing we're gonna do just unforbid all of this equipment here so everybody can equip themselves. Hold on. What did. Oh, wait, yeah, here he is. Granddad and Dad get the guns, obviously. Since, uh,. They brought the guns. Okay, I already have a knife. Uh, who doesn't have one? Meemaw definitely gets a melee weapon. Uh, who's who's our next strongest melee fighter? Uh, not them. Oops. Okay. That makes sense. I didn't know what Seth's favorite color was, so I gave him bright yellow clothing. I hope uh, he's cool with that. But uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, tell the game what our dog's names are, because he's definitely not called Sigmund. Sigmund Freud. That's the last name you want to give a dog. Good lord. Mr. Chow and Princess. Please don't get eaten, guys. I'm rooting for you. But we can we can slaughter Mr. Chow food. No, I'm not. <laughs> I would never. <laughs> Mr. Chow loves me. I would never do such a thing. All right. Uh, what do we need? We need a spot to store our things. Hmm. Oh. This looks like a good candidate. Okay, with there. Mm. Let's go with that. So, oh, of course we don't have wood yet. I'll steal the ugly. So let's chop some trees here. Oh, those trees aren't grown yet, I suppose. There we go, that should be good. And then, zone. Stockpile zone. Just like that. Hmm. I think we could afford to make all of this stockpile zone. So this is where we're going to keep our items and other miscellany. I uh, need to put on a roof here. Build a roof. Everybody should go about their work. Um, I actually want to use the numbered uh, work schedule, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Two hours later. We're all good now. Alright, everybody needs to get to work, dude. Look, we need a shelter. It's getting dark. We can sleep in the cave for now, I guess. I mean, here's what it is. How many of us are there? Uh, nine, right? Yep.
feeling we're gonna need a lot more wood for this. Nice job, Carly. Oh, look at that level 4 good plants. Construction botched. That's okay. There's wood everywhere. We live in a temperate forest. Thanks to me. Hang on a second. What's going on here? There we go. Carly, what are you doing in Nemo and Granddad's bed? Get out of here. No, what? There we go. Now I get a bed. Cozy. Mr. Chow, you don't have to sleep outside. Uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, you guys can sleep in here. Actually, I'll put them over here. Might get enough for the day's work. I should be researching, honestly. I mean, that is what I set myself to do is like my main job. So, we'll just go ahead and get a research bench set up in here. Three more beds. Hmm. That's how it's going to have to be for now. We need a light quite badly. Our farm is going quite well. We should also...
train Princess and Mr. Chow to be a bit more formidable uh, for survival. Oh, I have to be careful of that. Where's Mr. Chow? Oh, there he is. It's gonna be our little attack dog. Hopefully that won't be necessary, but you never know. Oh man, look at this. There's two steam vents right next to each other. Perfect for our electricity needs once we get to that point. I can have the first beds that were built. That seems about right to me. Oh, look at that. Carly's staying up late to chop down trees. We can uh, get a lot of wood chopping done today. We need to build the rest of these beds. Not to mention the research branch. That's arguably the most important thing. Need defenses. I know, I know. I'm just trying to get settled in here. I mean, we don't, I mean, I guess we have wood we could use, but that'll be fine. I mean, I guess let's set up temporary defenses just in case. It's like our temporary wooden building. Uh, security, wooden barricade. Potentially seal this off right here. That might be worth doing. They don't have much yet though. Man, Carly just loves chopping down trees. That's all I see her do. Not that I'm complaining, like I said, we uh, need the wood. Some normal quality beds. Eh, this one's not great. Oh, where's that one? Might be worth reconstructing those at some point. Me and Granddad having a friendly game of chess. Oh, look at that. 
Happy love and family. A screen all over, right? Yeah. That's great, because I hate when social fights happen, people like beating each other up, wasting all our medicine. I'm just waiting for the first raid at this point. I know it's coming. Some crazy tribes people are gonna see what we've got here and they are like, hey, we could steal a lot of food from these guys at least. And they'll come, uh, come a call on with their bows and arrows and spears and such. The natives. Alright, nobody's really doing much now, which is weird. I guess we need to chop more trees. Give me oh wait. Give me wood. Everyone, go to the forest. Somebody better construct this dang research bench. Oh, we need steel. That's the problem. I better assign more people to mining. Because... That's a big hold up. Oh, there's steel over here. Perfect. We can get over here. No problem. That should be enough. For now. Oh. Where's mining? I'm gonna need everybody help, please. None of you are good at this, but it needs to be done. It's gonna take so long. I know we have low medicine. Please don't let anybody get sick. Oh man. How could I have forgot the medicine? There's some right there, but it's not gonna last. We got some planted there, so hopefully that can do all right. This is what happens when you set non-miners to do mining. They mining until like one in the morning, trying to get one block out. She's already this far though. I'm not stopping her. Oh, okay, she stopped herself and then went to sleep. Carly is hiding in her room. Okay. That's, uh, better than any of the other mental breakdowns. Uh, I mean, I really should have, like, brought her back in, I guess. But she's coming back in now on her own. I'm sorry, Carly. <laughs> available. A countess of the refugee empire is calling from nearby. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's pretty easy. Thank you, Mima. Who 
Who do I want to bestow the royal favor upon, though? Mm, I think it would be fun to give Dad this quest. Let's see. Uh, where's the quest set? There they are. Alright, so a noble is now coming to our base uh, to be protected from some sort of animal that's chasing her. Uh, so it's going to be our first unofficial raid. I mean, it's an attack by wild animals. So. Oh, and look, look at that. They're still right here. I didn't even need to send a bell over here. There we go. What is this? What? What is that? Some sort of rat? That should be easy enough to take care of. In fact, we may not even need to uh, endanger ourselves here, depending on what kind of gear they have. I don't have any weapons, so probably would be better to just and dad and granddad take care of it. Um, who else has a weapon? I know Nemo does. I guess we sent her as well. Well, she's so far away, there's no point. Hey, where's Seth that? He's in here. He can come help. Actually, you know what? We probably won't even need his help, honestly. Because, I mean, it's already right here. There's not enough time. Here we go. Come on, you guys. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> oh, nice shot. Oh, he still didn't kill it, though. Come on, Dad. How can you miss? It's right in front of you. There we go. No problem. How's he doing? Look, he didn't even get hurt. Perfect. Oh, dude, that makes things so much easier and gives us more space. Oh, that's so cool. I'm very pleased with that. Is the shuttle supposed to be here? Oh, what happened now? We're not even there. Actually, you know what? We don't even need steel anymore, so you guys can quit mining for now. Let's send off our royal guest here. Dan received the title of Freeholder. All right. Heck yeah. Quest available. Ooh. Oh. The Empire is here to bestow my father's royal title upon him. <laughs> It's pretty cool. I mean, actually, I don't know if Yeoman's a, a royal title quite yet. He's like on the way, but
yeoman. He is now a psycaster. To use psychic powers, Dan must build up psych focus through meditation. Chunk skip. What does that do? Skip the five chunks of rock or slag to scatter them near the target point. Oh, useful for producing cover. That's NATO. Everybody's idle again, so we can go ahead and remove all these sleeping spots. Completely forgot. I'll just let them fight over the last two beds. Actually, this one's poor quality, isn't it? Oh well, I don't care. I'll be fine. Oh, of course. I need to research. Geothermal power, number one priority, because that will make our lives so easy with these steam vents here. We can have electricity again. What? What's wrong with me? Oh. I swore I set them up to... What? What's up with that? Wait a second. Huh, that's really odd. Well, I guess you guys are just acquaintances. Um, I don't know what's up with that. I swear I set you guys up to be married in the creation, but... Oh well. It'll be fine. We'll just pretend like, uh... Everything is normal. This is probably a good spot to end it for now. So yeah, I hope you guys like this. And uh, next time we're going to try to get uh, big walls set up so that uh, we don't have to worry about being attacked. Because that is definitely a big concern. 
so uh yeah